Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Thursday, August 17th, 2023. And today I'm going to do a video of as many trucks as is administratively feasible. Um, I am quite late and I didn't put my phone on airplane mode and oh, I was in the middle of videoing my second truck. I wasn't on my eighth truck. I was on my second truck and my phone rang, which shuts off my video and so one of these days I'll learn to put my phone consistently on airplane mode when I go to video <laughs> and so um man is that fire truck nice that fire truck sold instantly somebody from California bought that oh actually I call him California Dan California Dan bought that uh, Subaru fire truck and he is so cut out for it when I mean it's because it's so nice and he he's kind of he really likes nice trucks and that is a unicorn of unicorns I mean that is like you know how the unicorn has the horn that hat that's the tip of the horn on the unicorn so that is the unicorn of unicorns Anyway, I've got another one in line. I just, I was doing that one when the phone rang. I was just finishing it. I was checking the mileage. So anyway, um, boy, do I like to ramble. I know. I had recently somebody write, this guy rambles too much. I don't have the kind of time for this. I get it. I get it. You have a legitimate beef. <laughs> but I don't know that I'll really be able to correct myself that much but i'll try i will try <laughs> all right let's get started how about that um first truck is a subaru and you might be asking yourself hey tony why do you have so many subarus and so if you i show you the vin number for those of you who just started watching my 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 my, my videos i show the vin number so that you can reference the truck if you see something you like this has a ding there. See, I know this truck like the back of my hand now. A ding there, because I've already done it. It is beautiful. It has a ding there and a scratch there. Other than that, it's a nice door. The bedside, remarkable. It has Subaru wheels. Look at that. Aluminum Subaru wheels. And this is a, uh, a three and two thirds washer truck. There's the two thirds. This bed is remarkable. That is not rust. That is dirt over there. It is absolutely phenomenal. And it does come with a refill from uh, Circle K. So if you want to refill, you got the cup. <laughs> Not really. I will take that out. I'm so excited about this one. Is that it? No. Oh, I was on my third truck. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So you might be saying, why do you have so many Subarus? You're so hard on... You got a scratch there and there. You're so hard on Subarus. I do. I, I'm, I'm rough on Subarus because um, the taillights look good. Because they deserve it. They really do. Subarus deserve everyone to know, hey, they're not the perfect mini truck. Because there's people out there on YouTube who are like, what's the best mini truck? And then they get out the pom-poms and they go, Subaru, Subaru, rah, rah, rah. And I love, I love Subarus. I do. But that is what I would describe as inordinate attention given to Subaru in all fairness I think it's inordinate I think it's um a little bit overzealous who am I to say overzealous right but when you're saying what's the best mini truck Subaru uh -uh. you can't say that Subaru might be the best truck if you're buzzing around town but it's not the best mini truck. It does have some foibles. 
And you have to be aware of that because an educated consumer is always the best customer. I mean, think about it. An educated consumer is the best customer. You can't just say Subaru is the best. You might get a lot of views uh, of that video because people are unsus. And it's not, I'm not saying it's intentionally deceptive, but it does mislead people who call me, say, hey, I've got a sawmill. I've got to have a Subaru. I know exactly what they did. They were on YouTube. And 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 they 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 were told Subaru's the best. But it's not the best if you have a sawmill. You should never buy a Subaru if you have a sawmill. You should never buy a Subaru if you're if you're gonna go hunting. You shouldn't have a Subaru if you're in the woods or if you're off-road, if you have a farm, for goodness sake. Do not get a Subaru if you have a farm. But if you're going to run around town, if you live in Chapel Hill or Charlotte or Raleigh or Greensboro or Boise or New York, well, no, not New York. They don't they don't tag them. Um, a Subaru will be fine. But you then have to be aware that that Subaru can easily be over revved. And if you over rev it, you may spin your crankshaft bearing or your connecting rod bearings, one of them. And I know this because I have owned almost, almost, I'm almost there, 6,000 mini trucks. So my opinion is a qualified opinion. Uh, uh, an opinion based on having that many mini trucks is a qualified one. And so I don't like have it in for Subarus. I just want to educate the consumer and say, hey, I've had eight, is it eight? I think eight trucks with blown engines. Um, and I don't mean a blown head gasket or something, but eight trucks with blown engines, all of them have been Subarus. Well, that means something. And two of them were because the water pump seized and cut the timing belt, and it's an interference engine, so it destroys the engine. And I've had Subaru water pumps go bad before that leaked, but on those two occasions, the bearing seized and cut the timing belt. And on six other occasions, they were over revved and the either connecting rod or um, the crankshaft bearing spun and then it starts knocking and and they're not. Yeah, you could rebuild a mini truck engine, but not as easily as a, a 302, a Ford 302 or a Chevy 350. So that is the end of my tirade on Subarus, um, my education on Subarus. Uh, I do want everyone to be aware. Now, what's nice about Subarus? They run like butter. They're a four-cylinder. They don't have any extra power, but they do run like butter. I mean, and they are kind of the panache mini truck. Them and Honda. They are the mini truck with panache. So this is my love on my Subaru moment here. I do like Subarus. Um, but there's an inordinate amount of overzealous representation being given to Subarus, which is not warranted. Hmm. So there you go. But Subarus run so nice. And, and they have good four-wheel drive. You know, sometimes that button goes bad in the shifter, but there's ways around that. And, um, and they run well. And the engine is way, way, way in the back. So from a, a weight distribution standpoint, that's good. People say, well, then you don't roast in the cab. You don't roast in the cab with a Mitsubishi, Suzuki, or Daihatsu either. Um, you know, that's that's kind of a, a urban myth with mini trucks. Anyway, there you go. This bedside looks nice. It does have a... No, those are actually spot welds. Spot welds. Those don't count. It does have a scratch with a very slight impression there. Um, so a scratch and maybe a slight crease. And that is a beautiful door. Let's look at the inside. So I know that took a long time, but that was necessary. And hopefully you'll say valuable information. If you like watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And you, you may say, I ain't never subscribing to his channel. He takes forever. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But if you see value, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. It helps with my search results. And hit notification. Because then, man, is that nice. Then you'll be notified when 
I post a video. 50047, that is 31,000 miles on the money. Nice. Oh, it did close. It sounded like it didn't close. Next, KS4283912. Small ding right there. Actually, a decent ding. Nice like in the bumper. Boy, that door is nice. Not a ding on that door. Boy, is that incredible. The bedside panel has two dings. Right there and right there. That's it. Oh, actually, right there. The bed is absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. That's just dirt right there. Guys, this is remarkable. Wow. So this is a, a three and two thirds washer truck. People are probably watching this video saying, what this guy is, what is he taking? He must be taking too much of his medication. He's crazy. Three and two thirds washer truck. Man, what in the world? Oh. Well, I will tell you that there's a correlation, and this sounds crazy, but it's true. There's a correlation between the condition of those washers and the condition of the truck. I've just done so many mini trucks, Subaru mini trucks. I know. Man, is that a nice bedside. That tailgate is remarkable. And I just know that if I see washers that look that good, the rest of the truck's going to be nice. It's just how it goes. And I guarantee you one thing. Nobody else in the world says, well, look at those washers. The rest of the truck's going to be... Nobody else thinks that way. And I think that's good for them. <laughs> if you think that way, man, I pity you. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. I have yet to see a four washer or a three and two thirds washer Subaru mini truck. It is not nice. If you got a three and a half washer, okay, maybe, maybe you're getting down there. Wow. That's a really good sign that that jack and that, and that, um, gosh, is this nice. Grade four, no surprise. You know, that grading system is very fallible. So the grading system is so fallible in Japan that that grade four is, that's fine. This is a grade four, but whew, there are some grade three trucks that are called grade four. And that is a, so you can't go by the grade. That's my whole point. And I'm not going to explain all that on this video because that's a fairly deep subject. Okay, so this pocket is torn. Now, you may be able to get some strong Gorilla Tape and tape from the back. Or there are repair kits where you can actually repair torn plastic if, if you wanted to. And I would say it would be worth it. Because look at this interior. Guys, this is remarkable. 60,000 kilometers. 60048 and that's like, you know, 40, 36,000. Yeah, 36,000. Man, is that nice. Boy, is that nice. This is a unicorn if I've ever seen one. Man, oh man. Somebody opened the ashtray to look inside there. Clean as a whistle. There was a customer here yesterday, no doubt, that said, look at that mini truck. Everything is just gorgeous.
unicorn alert that's a unicorn guys for sure next mini truck two-wheel drive ks3 132676 so this is a two-wheel drive supercharged two-wheel drive that's why i bought this uh oh <laughs> i have so much fun with these i do i do look at that automatic supercharged and yes maybe that ac button even works Let's try it out. Look at the miles. Oh, man. I can't believe it. 32,000. Oh, man. This is exciting. Let's let it keep running and see if it gets cold. I gotta stop videoing because I'm supposed to be delivering those, and 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 I'm and I'm so late. Julia is getting that white Mitsubishi, and I videoed for her last week, and she's so patient. So Julia, I know I'm supposed to be headed to your place right now, and I'm not, and it's because I'm videoing. What can I tell you? Um, I do appreciate your patience. All right. So we've got a ding there. I didn't have to say that. She wouldn't know if I didn't say anything. But that's that's just like, oh, I don't know. I know she's sitting there tapping her toe saying, where's my mini truck? I can't wait to get it because it is such a nice mini truck. And any mini truck is worth tapping your toes for saying, where's my mini truck? Because it's exciting. It's cool. When you go to Home Depot or Lowe's Hardware in your mini truck, you will be mobbed. You will forget why you even went there because there's such a um, exciting thing right now. And that's how it is. You show up and people are going to come up to you continuously. It's a real conversation starter. No doubt about it. Somebody put a hook on here to tie things down. That bedside is so perfect. It is unbelievable. Nice cold air conditioning. Wow. So that air conditioning is super cold. Huh. So somebody took the, the washers off of here. So I can't use my typical grading system. Somebody, these washers have been messed with. But look at that bed, guys. That is gorgeous. Man, is that pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Look at the frame. Wow, the frame even shines. And I don't think that's because it was repainted. Right, see how nice and visible that VIN number is? I don't think that's been painted. You know, you might see a frame that looks that pretty and say, yeah, well, they probably repainted it. I don't think they did. Nice tires. Tailgate is beautiful. Nice. Nice engine cover. It's not all banged up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is so nice. Not a ding or a dent. Got a tiny little ding right there from the inside out. Right above the word supercharger, there's a ding. See the words supercharger? There's a ding right there. Just like an inch above the words supercharger. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not eight years old. I just act like it. Ding.
And we do have a crease. So it's knocked out of unicorn land because of that. Darn it. It's not bad, but it's, I, I can't give it. Uh, it's borderline, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But man, is this nice. And somebody took the the washers out also. That's another thing. Not that it really matters. And you wouldn't know if I didn't say it. But man, is that nice. Look at that. That's beautiful. Look at the seats. Look at the seats. Now that is split up here. So you have um, some spalding. Just splitting. Uh, not spalding. Splitting. And that, if you wanted to, you could replace it quite easily. The air does work on this truck. It's an automatic supercharged Subaru Sandbar with 32,347 kilometers. Last one on this stretch, um, because I've got to get going. Man, we just got another seven in this morning. And these are just the ones to be serviced. And I've got another 12 that just hit the port yesterday. I think it was 12. And um, that's a lot of mini trucks. And I've got so many more coming. So many more coming. I need, I need to see a mini truck therapist so that I can get help because there must be like some deep seated, there we go, U42 T030 like mini truck fixation, is that a thing? I could have that, it is possible. Very nice looking front end, a ding. Beautiful. Man, are those nice tires. Look at that. Bedside panel has two dings. One there, one there. Underneath the bed mat is immaculate. Absolutely beautiful. We do have some slight surface rust on the engine cover. But the bed is just incredible there. Nice. Back of the cab looks good too. Now the tailgate, we have one ding. The bedside panel has a slight scratch, right, scrape right there, and it is lightly impressed or depressed. A ding right there. We have a, 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 a scrape with an impression right here and here. So this is the original factory ridge, but it turns into that scrape there. The seat has a separation. You can pull that back together. I've had customers that have done that. The door panel is very nice. Now let's look under here. Looking good. Very nice. Let's look under this. Ah! Beautiful. Beautiful.
43,687 kilometers. This is a five speed with a two speed transfer case. The ceiling is falling down, but that's very, I just fixed one this morning. It's so easy to fix. You get 3M super adhesive, spray that, spray this, and then it'll go up and, and it won't come down again. This is a beautiful truck, very good condition, low miles. So guys, that, oh, and my next one is a townies. That is so pretty. Man, look at that bed. Oh my goodness. How can you own a townies and never use the bed? Just how is that possible? I mean, look at this. Okay, let's look inside. It does have a split on the seat. I had one with air conditioning. That was remarkable. Pretty nice. 55,000, wow. A diesel Toyota Taranis with uh, <laughs> you hear the bedside panels when you shut it off they rattle they can be tightened this is such a nice 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 town that's all grease right there so anyway, uh, I'm not going to go into any detail on that because I don't have time. I just did four. And so uh, that concludes uh, today's video. I uh, do appreciate you watching my video. And again, please subscribe to our channel and hit notification. Nice supercharged Subaru. Uh, and, uh, and, and, um, and thank you for that. And we do issue you a title. Mayberry Mini Trucks got Mini Trucks made street legal. Is that correct English? Mayberry Mini Trucks got Mini Trucks street legal, I suppose. And uh, so we are responsible for that legislation being introduced, passed, and signed by the governor. Do you know Governor Cooper talked about us a couple days ago? How strange. I had a Mini Truck customer call real quick, real quick. I had a mini truck customer call uh, who already bought one and the governor was speaking at like some event for somebody and the guy was fixing the air conditioning because the governor was about to sp start speaking in the, uh, so anyway, too much information. And so um, he asked the governor, he said, hey, you know, Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks got the law passed and you signed the bill into law. He said, oh yeah, I know Tony. Okay, I suppose maybe I, uh, he could, but maybe he didn't say I know Tony. Let me let me think about that. I can't say that he said that. What did he tell me? He said, yeah, he did. He said, yeah, I know of Tony is probably what he said. I don't want to get this wrong. So he said, we'll say he said, yeah, I know of Tony, um, and. Um, and um, he didn't say bless his little old heart, but he did say he's a persistent cuss. Now, is that a compliment? <laughs> he's a persistent cuss. I, I'm, I'm going to go with that's a compliment. So thank you, Governor Cooper, for the compliment. I do appreciate it. I believe you meant that as a compliment. But... It's almost like if somebody says, bless your heart. Okay, thank you. But I think, I just don't know. So I, it's almost like I pity you, but he's a persistent cuss. That could be a compliment. So I'm going to roll with compliment. And, uh, and so he knew who I was. That is so strange. I'm like not low man on the totem pole. I'm the foundation of the totem pole. That's how low man on the totem pole I am. I am like beneath the bottom low man on the totem pole. So, but he still knew who I was. So 
Uh, he knows the little people in the world. <gasps> and uh, so he did say, uh, the guy asked him, he said, now what about the titling um, of the, uh, he asked him something specific about titling. And Governor Cooper said, well, you need to go and, and talk to Tony about that because he knows everything there is to know about the street legal uh, street legality of the mini trucks. So go talk to him about that. And so that is almost not worth mentioning, uh, but that did happen. So that was pretty cool. And uh, so we did get the law passed, making them street legal and signed by the governor into law. And I want to thank Deanna Ballard, who was my uh, North Carolina Senate representative. And Deanna Ballard was really instrumental in helping get that legislation um, introduced in the North Carolina Senate and Sarah Stevens in the North Carolina House. So thank you, uh, Deanna Ballard, for helping us get these passed. Uh, and Sarah Stevens, thank you. Uh, we have serviced, we will service these mini trucks here. We have serviced all the other ones that are for sale. And with 5W30 full synthetic engine oil, we service the truck if it doesn't run properly, if it doesn't have power, if it doesn't idle properly, if the heat doesn't work, we fix that. And if the four wheel drive doesn't work, we fix that. If the battery's bad, we replace it. We um, change the air filter, the oil filter. We check the front differential fluid, the rear differential fluid, the transmission fluid, the transfer case fluid, the antifreeze in the radiator, the brake fluid. And if any of those are low, we take care of it. If the battery's bad, we replace it. If it doesn't charge well, we fix that. And um, then we make them available for sale. We also clean them, like a, a light cleaning, a decent cleaning, but not a detailing job. And uh, so, yeah. We deliver, we charge $2 per mile one way. So if you're 300 miles away, then we charge $600. And still, even though diesel prices are skyrocketing right now, I'm still holding it too. I might have to go up to two and a half dollars, but for now I'm still at $2 a mile. And um, also, if the truck says this is $7,800, that's all you pay. There are no extra fees. We don't have any dock fee, prep fee, title fee, this fee, that fee. I don't like it when others do that. So I certainly don't do that to other people. And so uh, there are no extra fees. Everything's included. Even the, uh, the uh, title is even all the paperwork. So um, thank you for your time and your patience. And thank you for watching our video.